you'll never guess what's up. We're going back to Fort Wayne. We're going back to Fort Wayne. Another vlog starting with us on the road to Fort Wayne. We went to Shangi Tudo tour. Yep. We went to the 90s concert festival. Yep. And now we're going to Johnny Appleseed Festival, which I've like lived in this area my whole life and I never knew that they had a Johnny Appleseed Festival. Yeah, it's the first I've heard of it too. And apparently he's buried there. So it's the Johnny Appleseed Park, which I didn't even know there was a park named after Johnny Appleseed. I don't know how I didn't know this till like just this year. Well, honestly, my knowledge of Fort Wayne is very minimal because I've in the past never really had to go there a lot, mainly well, for you're concerts. You're from like down southern Indiana. Right. I'm from the East Central area, like Muncie area. If you're familiar with with Indiana, that's my neck of the woods. So. I'm excited. I, I looked it up a little bit online. There's only like one guy that's vlogged it on YouTube. Really? And it was more of a like educational thing. So I'm, I'm kind of curious like what all is going to be there. Right. And his video was like six minutes long. Yeah, that was a, it was a good video, but I wanted to see more. The, I'm excited. The really important question that we got to vlog though is if Johnny Appleseed is buried, is there a bunch of apple trees around his grave? Yeah, so there's like Because he's an apple seed, right? That's actually not his last name. Oh. <laughs> he was given that nickname, Johnny Appleseed. His real name's Johnny, but Appleseed's a nickname because he went around Indiana and planted apple trees. Uh, and that's kind of why Indiana has so many apple orchards. Is like he's a big part of that influence of the agriculture in Indiana. Gotcha, because yeah, just in our immediate area, there's like at least two, three that I know of. Yeah, so he's a big part of that history. Makes sense. But apparently it's going to be kind of like, if you're familiar from Indiana, Trail of Courage and Power of the Path. It's kind of like time era stuff. So they'll have like soap making. All the food vendors will be cooking over open fire. It's going to be to that period of time like he was alive. Then you have us modernly dressed. <laughs> yeah, but we're not, you know, participating in the festival. We're there to enjoy it. Yeah, we're we're there to experience the festival, but not like be part of the festival. If that makes sense. Yeah, and too, like I want to film it and, and get spread the word and educate and bring awareness. And for people who can't ever make it to the festival, right. they can watch our video and get to kind of be there. Uh, or if you're close enough and you're curious about it, you could. Because, I mean, there's, there's people in Ohio and there's people in Michigan who could be like, oh, you know, Fort Wayne's not that far. Yeah, I can make a day out of it. Right. I like watching people vlog to adventures like that, especially in places that I'll never go. Right. Like uh, Universal Studios or something. I'll never go there. But I really enjoy watching that stuff because I get to kind of experience it through that. He's not really using it. Okay, we're coming in the back way because we couldn't find the entrance. <laughs> it's like an emergency exit. I'm sorry. So I will probably use the Okay. It's a crap toy. It's a crap toy. Yeah, they're big, maybe they're, they're, they're bigger ones that live here. 
We are going to try some caramel apple sundae. DC is excited. over this way and try it here looks good okay hang on you gotta show ooh <laughs> with a big scoop of ice cream taste that oh my god that ice cream is so thick that's good yeah yeah is it like a lot of Caramel, that I don't really like. Yeah, there's like a lot of caramel. What's the ice cream taste like? It's homemade. Like caramel flavored almost too. It kind of tastes like vanilla, but with a lot of caramel. Yeah, there's a lot of caramel there. See when you just gotta have <laughs> Yeah. Hell no. I'm gonna go in and look like, okay? Okay. You wanna sit here? Yeah. You only take cash, sir? Or no credit card also? Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, can't we go this way? You don't want to walk next to me? Yeah, you No. 10 out of 10 for any festival. I highly suggest bringing this dog stroller sure. because it has a cup holder on it and it has a place to put your stuff in it and securely and keep the bugs out. <laughs> <laughs> 